This is Ben Bryson with the Altamaha Technical College Library. In this video, we're going to get to know the research paper. Let's start at the end. What you're looking at is a works cited page. This page has the list of all the information sources that you used in your paper. These citations use a style called MLA. And you can find information about using MLA citations online and in the library. These examples come from easybib.com and you can also find them in the MLA user's guide in our library's libguides. So looking at the works cited page, let's take an example You can see that the information in the citation is pulled from what we call the bibliographic information of the article. This one happens to be an article, or actually an ebook, um, from eBrary in Galileo. And you can see that I found information like the title, the author, the publisher, the year it was um, written and other kinds of information. Another example would be um, a website. I think this one is georgiapestexam.com in the middle of the uh, paper on your screen. And here's the website that I got the information for that citation from. You can see I got the URL, which is the web address I um, got things like the title, who produced the website, that kind of information, and formatted it into the um, correct MLA style. In each of those citations, we do the same thing. Find the bibliographic data and put it into the correct MLA citation format. Another web page example there at the end. And a Galileo article. Now as you know, if you use Galileo, you may get to use a citation tool that will create it for you, which makes it easier you can just copy and paste it into your works cited page. Now let's go to the second step regarding citation and that is what you do when you use those citations in the body of your paper, you know, in the actual paragraphs that you're writing. When you use this information, you use an in-text or a parenthetical citation. And you can also find guides for these, using these types of citations online or in the library, in the same place where you could find the other MLA information. So looking at one of these works cited um, entries from the end, you can see how they are referred to in the text. Um, with MLA, you will often use the last name of the author, and the page number from which you got it. So here's another example. Um, I have a, um, some information that I got from one of my resources, and I have a parentheses um, showing where it came from. And that is the web page 
where I got that information from. And I refer to it in the text of my paper. Same thing with this example. This is where I use some information from a website. And that's the information, the website that I used. Here's another citation. It's actually a quote. And you can see there's the quote in the article that I used in the paper. And I cited the use of that quote within the body of the paper. Here's another example. There's the actual quote the passage that I quoted in the paper and there's the citation. In this case, since I named the authors in this body of the sentence, I only need to include the page number. So different kinds of rules will apply in different situations. Um, so that's why you need to look at the um, information on how to do the citations in the body of your paper. Now, as you can see, for each of these citations in the paper, there's also a citation at the end in the Works Cited page. That way, as I read the paper and see a citation, I can always refer to those Works Cited, kind of like an index or a glossary at the end. Livermore. And there's the Livermore article right there in the center that you're looking at. So that is basically how citations work within a research paper. Um, we started at the end looking at the works cited page, showed how those Resources also needed to be used in your paper itself in the body um, and how you pulled information from the websites or articles um, with paraphrases and quotes into the body of the paper and used citations to note that. And then we saw how you could look at those in-text citations and connect them to the works cited page at the end. So that's getting to know the research paper. Um, if you have any questions, please contact the library or your instructor for more information. Thanks. And now you know.